the floor to Ben for concluding. Uh, thank you. I, I just wanted to, uh, to share that I'm extremely happy about this format. Uh, I was honestly cautious um, initially, although I've always advocated for tracks in, um, in uh, Internet uh, Governance Forum. This is the first time that there is this sort of bookending of, uh, of sessions. Uh, the short discussion format was really, really uh, substantive. The notion that people have an opportunity to uh, piggyback and, and reflect on what they have experienced in the different meetings is, uh, is really great, and I strongly encourage that this is, uh, be reconducted uh, in the future um, IGFs because it's, uh, it's really a good exercise, and as a moderator, I really, really uh, enjoyed it. Uh, the second thing is, as I mentioned at the end, one of the main benefits of the IGF is that we set aside where the discussion should take place to focus on the substance. And this is something that is really missing. Uh, it's a bit of self-promotion because that's what we try to do in, in, in the Internet and Jurisdiction Policy Network. But we should be more open to discussing the substance, and one typical example is what um, Parminder was mentioning around data sharing. Yes, this is something that I personally take out of this IGF, is that there were a session that I could not attend because of a conflict, but we discussed it a little bit here. Adding this third dimension of how does the data economy function and what are the governance things that are related, how do we optimize economic and social value at the same time is a real governance issue. It's really a topic, and I do not care where this is being discussed, but it needs to be discussed. So thanks for having uh, provided this opportunity. Thank you, Bertrand. That's really encouraging to get your feedback on, on how you felt this format went. And obviously, the IGF secretariat, at the end of every IGF, does um, uh, a stock-taking exercise where they, they call for comments from the community about how they thought the year's meeting went and how it was organized. This was, um, our MAG chair does encourage the, the, the MAG to be uh, experimental and, and think of new ideas, and sometimes the MAG's a little bit cautious, but this was something new this year. And so those MAG members who uh, were involved in these sessions, whether it's moderators, breakout moderators, or participating, who are continuing to next year can, can reflect back um, when we start discussing IGF 2020 about this format and whether it works. And personally, I do, I, I agree. Uh, it seems, you know, you can, everyone can go along to workshops and listen. And if you're lucky, you might get a chance to ask a question at the end. But this um, provides a place where people can have substantive discussions and then everyone can participate. And I think that in itself is valuable. Um, the, the report backs were really helpfully succinct and I'm going to just collect them and publish them as a report. Um, I also note that this afternoon um, at 3 p.m. they begin with the kind of the wrapping up in, in plenary. And so there will be um, sessions where each of the thematic streams has to report back. I have three minutes, <laughs> so I can't promise that it, to be able to incorporate everything that was discussed here. But um, between 3 and 4 p.m., we'll be hearing back from the different thematic um, streams, um, as well as things like the high-level panel and the best practice forums. So um, that might be a bit more of a chance to hear about data governance. But yeah, I just wanted to thank you all um, very much for your uh, contributions and for making it a success, this, this interactive format, and we'll certainly take on board and take back um, to the MAG the, the, the view I think that's shared that this worked out. Thank you very much. And apparently there's another session, so we might need to... <laughs> vacate the room.
on the other side. Mind you, at the end of the day, it's like a 